I know was walking with a friend of his around West Street one time, and they'd gone into one of the bars and had a beer, and after they left, they were walking down the street when this car from Jersey cruised by. Kids come around all the time throwing bottles and screaming, queer, and then taking off. So this car cruised by him real slow, and some kid leans out the window saying, suck my dick. And my friend flipped him the finger and said something, and all of a sudden the car slammed on the brakes, and five kids came piling out the doors and started kicking the shit out of my friend. For the next 10 minutes, about 100 guys came from out of the bars and from around the corner and surrounded these five kids, beating the shit out of my friend. His friend took off right away, and later my friend found out he just run home, didn't bother calling the cops or nothing. And all these guys crowding around, all these guys watching five guys beat up one guy, and none of them said or did a fucking thing. And my friend said the five kids stomped on his head and chest and broke a lot of his ribs and stomped on his legs. And at one point he got up, one point he got up and tried to break through the crowd to get away. But the kids grabbed him by the hair and pulled him back in. And he said it got to the point where he could hardly feel him hitting him. They were jumping up and down on his head and arms and legs. And finally he said he remembers jumping up, plowing through the crowd, and running and running. And his face was just a puddle of blood. And the kids chased after him, but he ran faster and faster and through the streets and out of the neighborhood. And he kept running until he collapsed somewhere on some side street. And later, he woke up in the hospital, found out he'd been unconscious for about six days. And the doctors told him that he was found by a bunch of cops unconscious on West Street, surrounded by a bunch of guys who didn't do nothing. And apparently he had hallucinated the whole thing of getting up and running away. And he had never gotten up. He'd never gotten up. And the kids from Jersey got away before the cops got there. Well, whenever